I, there are no words to really express how I really feel this morning. I am extremely excited, and I just told the, the secretary, you almost made me cry, which doesn't happen too often and too easily. But again, I am extremely excited, and I want to thank our great governor and his lovely wife. I want to thank Secretary Walters and her wonderful team. I want to thank all of the advocates. Raise your hand, advocates. I just want to see you. I want to know where you are. And to the young people that are here being advocates and standing in the gap who've been down this road, let me see your hands. Thank you for being here. One word came to me as I uh, did as CR 10, and the word is intentional. And I wanted to look it up, and I, I didn't want to misquote what the definition of intentional was, because I think that is so very important. And, and I believe that that is exactly what has happened in this situation, because when the governor came in, he had intent to ensure that we put our children first. And so with that in mind, every time that came in action, he made sure that he took care of the young people first. That's why we were able to, for the most part, starve off cuts to the department because he intentionally put children first. So intent means a mental state that represents a commitment to carry out an action or actions in the future. Intention involves mental activities such as planning and forethought. That's exactly what happened in this situation. I can tell you a lot of things began to line up because the governor with this secretary had intent to ensure that we took care of our children first. Couple of things. All of a sudden, Congress began to start acting on legislation that's been there for a long time and now giving the state some latitude. Families first. Now, we don't know exactly what it's going to do just yet. <laughs> but at least it's loosening some of the restrictions so that they have more flexibility to provide services. Then we introduced SCR 10 which is going to put together the task force to look at this purposely, intentionally, to make sure we get it right. Then we have my good friend, and I didn't even think about that governor, from opposite ends of the state, different parties working together because we put children first. <laughs> Was it a coincidence? I don't think so. I think it was all part of the divine providence. Because early this, this year, and to me, Governor, this was the best governor's prayer breakfast I've ever been to. Brother Reese Kaufman talked about how are the children? And he talked about if we don't take care of the children, then the state and the country will not be taken care of. That for me was an everlasting message, along with the fact that I serve as the chair of Select Women and Children. And last year I had the awesome opportunity to meet some wonderful young people who talked about their experience that changed my life forever. I will never forget that uh, committee. I will never forget those testimonies. And every time I think about every action or any action that we are going to take in the legislature, I wonder how it's going to impact the children because we intentionally put the children first. If we want Louisiana to be a great state, which it is a great state, but a better state, then we need to make sure that we take care of our children, all of our children. So with that, in addition to all of these things lining up, I have been selected governor to serve on two fellow committees with the National Conference of State Legislators. That has never happened. And guess what the subject matters are? Early childhood learning and child welfare. So 
So as I go to my seat, I just want to say thank you once again to the governor, to his lovely wife and her absent, uh, absence, to our secretary, to the wonderful staff of DCFS, to all of the advocates, to Annie E. Casey for being here for the long haul. I can tell you, you are going to see, yeah, I know when you put the report out, Louisiana seemed to always come in last, but we're going to begin to move up because we did a lot with nothing. And now that we, are, the governor said, I was like, amen. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, y'all just don't know how tough this been. <laughs> but now that we have stability in our budget, I know that we are going to be able to do better things because we have great people at the ham who are committed to ensuring that we take care of our children first. And those children who are aging out of foster care don't deserve anything less. We owe them. And I can see the transition going much smoother, and I'm looking forward to all of the great testimonies that's going to come out in terms of what happened as a result of this task force and the legislation that my uh, colleague passed. So again, I want to thank all of you, and I look forward to working with you guys. Have a great day.